Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will show you how you can work with all the Elementor Pro elements. In this video we will take a look at the Media Carousal element. If you want to get Elementor Pro then click on the link below in the description. And if you buy Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission, so thank you for that. If you want to see the result of all the Elementor Pro elements then go to elementor2018.com and go to the page Elementor Pro. Here I will show you all the elements. So let's get started. I scroll down. So I go for the media carousel. And here you see five images. I want to add a few images first. So I click on item one. I go for the image. And I select this one. Then I go to the second item. The third. the fourth and the fifth. I save it and I scroll down and I refresh the page and there it is. You can navigate through it. That looks nice, but you can do so much more with this element. So I go back and since we have the images, I can show you some settings. We have the skin. Right now it's carousel. We can have a slideshow. And then if I click over here, I go to a different image. Really nice. And we can have a cover flow. You see, it looks really nice. So let me start with the carousel. Over here, we can have an image or a video and we can have a video link. We'll take a look at that later. And you can link it to a certain URL or a media file. So if I select media file, I save it and I refresh the page. And if I click here, nothing happens. But if I click here, then I go to the image because I linked it to the media file. So that's what you can do. And over here, we can take a look at the effect. Right now it's slide. We can also let it fade, but if you do that, then it's only one image. Then you think, and then it's not that high, so we can increase the height in pixels or in percentage. Now it looks better, but it can also be a cube and it gives a nice effect like that. We can also change the width, make it smaller. Then there are additional options. The pagination, you see dots over here and arrows. We see arrows over here. You can turn them off and only have dots or have nothing or a fraction or progress. Transition, I like it to be slow, one and a half second. So now if I go over here, it goes really slowly. Maybe too slow, 800. Do we want to have autoplay? So if I would say 1000, then every second the image will change. Like this, every second. Let's make that four seconds. Infinite loop, after the latest one, the first one will appear again. Pass on interaction, no. Do we want to have an overlay, a text with the title of the image or a caption? Or do we want to have an icon? See an icon over here. So what we can do, animation fades or zooms in like that. We can have a different icon like that. And at the style, we can change the color. Image size is full. I like that. If you make it small, the image will look really crappy. So I say full, best quality. Image fit, cover, contain or auto. 
I like cover. Now I want to go back to the slides. And I want this to be a slide. Like that. And how many slides do we want to have per view? First, let me go to the width. And remove that. So it will be full width. I also want to disable the overlay. And we can change the amount of slides per view. I can say 5. I can change the height. I can say 4. I can also say I want to have 4. But on a tablet, I want to have 3. Like that. And on a smartphone, only 1. Like that. I go back to the desktop version. And I can also say 3. Slice to scroll. Two at the same time. So if I go to the right, will I see two more or only one more? And I like this. So I save it. And I refresh it. And it looks like that. Now I want to use the media carousal in a totally different way. I add a new section. And I want to create a background. Style, gradient, let me see, kind of dark blue. Okay. I want to change the angle, something like that. I go to the elements and I search for media carousel. I drag it over here. Now I add an image over here and I want to use this one. And it says countdown elements. So I go to YouTube I copy the link custom URL over here in a new window. I duplicate it I go to Facebook button, duplicate it, and I add a few more, and one more, like that. I save it, I refresh it, and this is how it looks. And when I click on the link, I go to that video. My name is Ferdy. Really nice. But I want to take it to the next level. So I go to the section. I want to stretch it and make it full width. I go to advanced, to the padding, uncheck this. And I say at the top I want to have 40 and at the bottom I want to have 40. So a little bit of space. Then I want to add a heading. I drag it over here. And I say watch the Elementor Pro Element Tutorials. Bring it in the center. Make the color white. Go to Advanced, Padding, Bottom, 20. Let's take a look. Okay. And now I go back. I go to the Element. And I want to change the carousel to slideshow, like that. And the slide can be cube. I go to style, space between, over here you can change that. You don't see the whole image, so what I want to do, change the height, like that. And the thumbnails, how many do I want to show? Three. The ratio is 16 by 9, like that, that's better. And then I can have even five, as long as the aspect ratio is okay. I save it, 
I refresh it. And this is too big in my opinion. So how can we fix this? The height will be decreased. Then I go to this place and there I change the margin or the padding to percentage 20, zero, zero, save, refresh. Yes, that's what I want. It looks better. So that's what you can do. And if you want to change it, you can do it really easily. Go to layout or go to the element and change it to a cover flow. Save. Refresh. And then go to the right. Click on the element. Hi guys. My name is Ferdy and in this video... And you go to the video. So that's how it works. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like this video, subscribe if you want to have more videos, and then I will see you next time. I wish you the best. Bye bye.